Hi everyone, and welcome back for more Let's Play Mean Streets. As we've learned, people are homicidal around here. Yeesh. Let's load. I just read this last time, but I can read it again. Back at the 50-yard line near Oakland Coliseum, I'm supposed to meet Arnold Lee, blah 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 blah. A number one weenie, but he packs a 38. Tell me about the MTC Corp. He doesn't give anything away for free. Well, about 500. Is this a joke? It tells me you'll have to do better than that. Yeesh. And I'm starting to run out of money. Are we there yet? Yeah, I remember this guy was expensive. I think I'm close, though. Why can't you tell me how much? Huh? Thanks, buddy. I'll tell you what I know. Finally, 3,000 bucks? I'm down to my last 2,600. Here's a list of people who have received checks from MTC. I've also included some of the navigational codes to help you find them. Don't tell anyone where you got this list. Carl Linsky, we know about him. Uh, Ron Morgan. Ron Morgan, Ron Morgan, Ron Morgan. Okay. He's new. Let's see. Jorge Valdez. Oh, and you know where he is. 49, 31. Well, it could be a very good uh, $3,000. Perry, Brenda Perry, at forty-five seventy-seven. Greg Call, that's new. But no name. Cal Davis, yeah, it's the same one I have. Big Jim Slade. Tom Griffith. Ooh. 4590. John Klaus. Got him. Sandra Larson. Wait, how is she wrapped up in this? I forgot. Well, I mean, I know how she's wrapped up in this, but how did she. Why is she being paid? By him? It tells me it's time to go pay her a visit. Tom Griffith, John Klaus, I've got his name. Bosworth Clark. Sandra Larson, Della Lang, that's a new one. And two, one, one, one. Sam Jones. That's nifty. I don't suppose you have anything else you'd be willing to share. And scribble, scribble, scribble. Well, now we have a bunch of different places to go check out, don't we? I need to mark off a couple of things. I've given you your 3,000. Incoming fax. Did I request more info? From a concerned citizen to Tex Murphy. Drop this case or you're dead, Murphy. Hmm. Interesting. Let's talk to Vanessa. We have a bunch of names to check out now, don't we? Hello, Tex. 
Okay, let's run more again. There's nothing in our file. No, nothing. Uh, me and my dwindling money supply. There's nothing in our files. Okay. There's nothing in our files. No. Darn it. There's nothing in our files. Oh, this is going to get expensive. There's nothing in our files. Oh, darn it. I was afraid of that. Well, before we spend money, I'm going to go visit the other places and hope. Let's go visit Ed Bradley, one of the other accountants. Oh, this is a little longer trip here. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number since the number one. Now people will see why I do not sing. At least this was a short enough trip that I only had to sing one verse. It's just no good anymore since you went away. I may pull up the lyrics to that soon. Ha ha. I may sing the whole thing on one of the longer trips. Be warned, folks. You guys keep asking me to sing. You have brought this upon yourself. Come on, land. Uh, a whole bunch of names. Let's save, just in case. Oh, uh, looks like a dead end. I find Ed Bradley's home and knock on the door. I wonder to myself if this could be the same Ed Bradley who used to be on TV when I was little, but then I realize he'd be dead by now. Bradley's a meek little bespectacled man about 45. I ask him about Gideon and MTC Corporation. He replies that he has nothing to do with the accounting between the two companies. If I wanted information on that, I must talk to Arnold Dweep. Thank him for the tip and leave. Okay. Uh, what about Jerome Melbourne? Uh, 40. 2, 3. Might as well knock out these other contacts. Oh, there are actual songs that are within my limited range. I just can't think of any offhand. And no, Trollolo isn't really one. I'm just glad he actually doesn't take his time getting most of the distance covered. Just think of this, it started as a simple case where somebody asked to make sure that their father really committed suicide. Now suddenly, we're in the middle of possibly stopping a big massive conspiracy to control everyone's thought patterns through satellites and microchips. Come on. And now you have to land. Seriously, by the time you guys see this, I know I'll be well past it. 
I will probably have this entire Let's Play recorded. But, if anybody out there actually knows some decent, free, or really, really cheap um, editing software that allows me to take a section of the video and speed it up, that would be much obliged. And no, I mean, Windows Movie Maker doesn't do that for me in Windows 7 anymore. I wish it did, but it does not. So save, as always, just in case somebody pulls a gun on me. Again. Yeesh. Jerome Milborn. I stand on the sidewalk in front of the Terrace Condominium Complex and look up at the 40-story structure. Jerome Milborn's condo is up on the 27th floor. After a quick ride up on the elevator, I find myself knocking on his door. I try for a few minutes, but no one answers. Finally, a neighbor next door walks out into the hallway and tells me that Milborn left several days ago on vacation and won't be back for several weeks. I thank the guy and return to my speeder. Goody. You know, I possibly could just go question them. Well, let's see, we have some other names, don't we? Let's go harass the first name we got. Jorge Valdez. I'm pretty sure it's Jorge instead of George. Destination locked. And autopilot engaged. My money's running low. I gotta work off hunches as best I can. I am kind of curious, though. I wonder. If I already knew where everyone was located, would I actually have to pay money to her to find all these things, or even Arnold Dweeb, or could I just fly to these locations and land on and just have people show up? It's worth thinking about. Three, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I've got six contacts, or, you know, just various things that I have no idea where they are. Robert Knotts, Ron Morgan, Greg Call, Big Jim Slave, Butler Clark, and Sam Jones. I still don't know where they are. I may go back and ask a few of my other people, but just like always. Save. Exit. The Jorge Valdez home is located in a tracked housing project in Oakland. He comes to the door and I notice he's still wearing his security badge from MTC. I ask him a few questions about MTC and he gets a suspicious look on his face. They're keeping everything top secret. I know some Law & Order party big shots from Los Angeles have been on the office on a number of occasions. No one's supposed to know where they're from, but I overheard them talking a while while I was doing some service on one of the computers. I ask a few more questions. It's obvious he distrusts what's going on, but isn't quite sure what they're involved with. I think of his time and leave. So yes, so outside of stealing the pass card, we know that Law & Order is definitely involved pretty intimately with MTC Corp. So as soon as we get the chance, we need to raid their office. If for no other reason than to take a passcode. But for now, I'm going to end the video here, and I will be back next time, already arrived at Brenda Perry's place. So until then, take care everybody. See you next time.